So how should we do it and how should we formulate the model? That's, that's the question here, all right? Um, the idea is that we will copy and paste the entire matrix to Excel. Let's look at the actual Excel. And what we do here is that, uh, well, I've highlighted those ones so that it becomes obvious. Notice the symmetric appearance yeah, uh, across the, the diagonal uh, ones that uh, the, the, the sense of being ne next to each other is commutative, right? So that's shown here. Now, um, what we want to know is that, or rather the solution to our business problem, where should we deploy the bank branches, is that uh, we ask 20 questions, right? Should we deploy a bank branch in county one? Yes or no, right? Uh, county two, yes or no? County three, yes or no? And so on. And we may, for convenience sake, imagine that the bank branch is deployed in the middle, the town center of the county, although it, it doesn't have to be. So long as it's anywhere inside the county, then we are complying with the law. Yeah? So that's not nice, <clears throat> and it reduces the complexity of the longitude, latitude, locations, and so on. So we ask 20 questions, because we have 20 question marks. Do we deploy a bank branch in county I? All right, so we have 20 questions, and so we have 20 uh, decision variables like this. Now, then, then uh, what is needed is this, let's look at this left-hand side, all right? The left-hand side is a sum product of the incidence matrix values with the decision variable for that county. What does this mean? Uh, let's look at... Let's look at the second column here. Uh, so Ash Tabula and Lake, right? If we set a one here in Lake, in Lake, and there is a one here between Ash Tabula and Lake. So what that means is that uh, there is a there is a bank branch in Lake, and Lake is next to Ashtabula. So can Ashtabula access Lake's bank branch? Answer is yes. Answer is yes, right? Yeah, because uh, I can drive over and access the bank branch. So uh, accessibility, that means number of ATMs, uh, oh sorry, bank branch, uh, that is accessible to people in Ashtabula will be that, first of all, Ashtabula and that county needs to be having a 1 in the incidence matrix. Secondly, and, and there has to be a bank branch in that uh, nearby county. So it has to be a one and a one in the same column before you can count that as, yes, at one more accessible bank branch. And if we keep doing that product, one times one, because only one times one gives us one. If I have a county, as uh, a bank branch in Lake, but this cell here, Ashtabula and Lake, happens to be zero. That means Ashtabula is not near to Lake, not one county next to each other. Then even if there's a bank branch in Lake, I am staying in Ashtabula. I cannot access. It, it's not considered nearby myself, right? So uh, I don't count that bank branch as accessible to me when I'm staying in Ashtabula. Another possibility is that uh, there is a one here, right? Ashtabula is near to lake, uh, next to lake. And yet, in its optimality, there is no decision to set up a bank branch in lake. Then obviously, even though lake is near to Ashtabula, and I'm staying in Ashtabula, uh, I cannot count anything in lake that is a bank branch to me, right? So again, I cannot add that. Therefore, uh, the left-hand side here, we want to establish the number of accessible bank branches to people staying in Ash Tabula. That, that's fair. That's fair, right? Uh, so I need that total count to be more than one by compliance of the law. Then that would make sense. Okay, so the left hand side literally is to implement the counting of accessible, nearby enough, one county nearby uh, bank branch, right? So we'll count all those. So that 
mathematically is very easily accomplished by some product. You just multiply. And we went through the various combinations, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. And only 1, 1 counts uh, as an um, <coughs> accessible bank branch. Fortunately, we don't need a true and true if then else. We don't need that. We just do a numerical product that would ensure that the count is proper and correct. So, uh, and, and we, we, so, so you might find that we are exploiting the binary nature, 0 and 1, and the mathematical nature, because 0 times 1, 1 times 0, they're all 0, 0 times 0 is 0, and only 1 times 1 is 1. We're exploiting this as well to allow us to constrain on the total count, total sum, to be at least 1. So for instance, if the law is changed such that um, people must have more access to bank branches. Maybe that's, that's not for bank branches, but hospital, uh, community centers. Suppose there's a law or kind of a county guideline, state guideline, then uh, we need to have at least two communities, community centers to be accessible. Then in that case, we easily can change right-hand side to two. Very easily, right? So um, by just doing some product, we can implement the count of accessible ATM, uh, sorry again, bank branches, and we can constrain that count to be at least uh, one in compliance with the law. And uh, what Excel Solver does is that it will tweak around with ones and zeros here uh, in an attempt to ensure that all counties, all 20 counties, people living there in each of them will have access to at least one ATM while at the same time minimizing all right, the total count of uh, deployed bank branches. So we just sum up the total bank, total ones that are found in the decision vector. Okay, so uh, let's look at solver. How does it go? We look at solver. All right. So uh, set objective function, we are going to minimize the total count uh, by changing variables in this uh, blue cells here. Uh, look at this, very importantly, B31 to U31, isn't it? Uh, that's to set the, <coughs> the decision variables to binary. Okay, uh, uh, just a reminder, binary and integer constraints, they can only be applied to decision variable cells. So when we do that, guess how many uh, bank branches we have to implement in compliance with law for all 20 counties, not 20 definitely, not 10, not even 5, just 3. All right. 3 strategically located uh, bank branches will be sufficient to cover law compliance. I'm not saying that it is really convenient, all right, practically convenient, but at least you are complying with the law. So 7, 11, and 12. So set up one bank branch in Ashland, Gaga, and Stark. That will do. Surprising, isn't it? Yeah. So if we never try to model this situation, suppose you're working in a bank, uh, in this bank, and you never try to model the situation in an attempt to check right, whether our intuition of 10 bank branches kind of a budget is even making sense, then we'll be totally off, totally shocked by this, uh, this, this optimal setting. So it is important to, uh, if possible, always try to attempt to optimize the situation. Yeah. So here's that's why we look at this example, uh, and uh, hopefully we learn something interesting to spark our imagination in applying in integer binary programming models.